ebbing and flowing. Politicians who ignore that will have a rough time on election night. Well, the latest big shift is within the Hispanic community. And this evening, Bob Buckley shows us where those voters are moving to, and more importantly, why. If there is any group that could be swing voters in America, it's Hispanics. Latino voters have never been as uh, loyal uh, as uh, the black voters to the Democratic Party. The loyalty of, the, of black voters to the Democratic Party is incredible and astounding. Even as blacks began switching from being Republicans to Democrats during the Great Depression, Republican presidential candidates still averaged 36 percent of the black vote between 1932 and 1960, but have averaged only 11 percent since. And although a majority of Hispanics still vote Democratic... The issue for the Democrats going forward is this assumption that if you're a minority voter, you're our voter. Duke political scientist Asher Hildebrand says that may be what's happening in some cases. Okay, we can't just um, take this support for granted uh, or uh, treat this as kind of a, a, a monolithic voting block. What motivates Cubans in Florida is going to be very different than what motivates right. uh, El Salvadorians in North Carolina uh, or, or Mexicans in California, right? On the other hand, I think even um, a 10 point decline in, in uh, the uh, Democratic share of the Hispanic vote could matter in local races, and that's something to be seriously worried about. Because it appears to be happening. In 2020, Hispanics moved just about 10 percentage points from Democrat to Republican, but they still have a long way to go. Republicans hit their high water mark when George W. Bush got 44% of the Hispanic vote in his 2004 re-election. That dropped to 27% when Mitt Romney ran against President Obama in 2012. But now that it appears to be shifting back to the GOP... Can the Democrats hold on to the Hispanic vote? I think they can, but they've got to work for it, right? They cannot take it for granted. I think they've taken the African-American vote for granted for a long time. Frankly, it's worked out pretty well for them. African-Americans vote over 90% of the time with the Democratic Party. So the key, I think, for the Democratic Party is to talk about immigration. Hispanic Americans, though, want immigration controlled. They're not for open borders. No, they're not for open borders, but they are for fair access, what they would consider fair access. So yes, the Democrats can't just say, hey, open up the borders, give us all your votes. It's got to be more nuanced than that. Few people know more about voting patterns than News Nation analyst Chris Steyerwald. Republicans are trying to make serious inroads with Hispanic vote. Do you see them doing that? And if they do that, what's that going to mean for our elections? Well, uh, I don't know whether it's Republicans making inroads or Democrats making outroads. I think it's a little of both, right? Steyerwald says it comes down to each party's basic message, and too many Democrats, he believes, are sending the wrong one to immigrants. Immigrants and the children of immigrants, even the grandchildren of immigrants, don't want to be told that the country that they or their uh, parents came to stinks, right? Uh, it's not uh, talking about America as a... Uh, a, a nightmare of racism and sexism and this dystopian place, not only does that not comport with the experience of a lot of these voters, especially in places like Texas and Florida and Arizona, where the overall climate tends to be more Republican. Not on, so, so you already started a disadvantage. Though Hispanics only make up about 4% of North Carolina voters, that may be enough to be the difference in our big races. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. And this election will be the first one in U.S. history in which Hispanics make up the largest minority group. They passed African Americans over the past couple of years and nationally now make up more than 14% of the vote.